Hi. I'm here at Fort Fetterman, Wyoming. Fort Fetterman was established in 1867 at the conclusion of the Red Cloud War. When that fight ended, the U.S. government agreed to close the Bozeman Trail, abandon the forts that were on the Bozeman Trail, and leave the vast territory north of the Platte River to the Yellowstone River as an Indian reservation. But the Army wanted to keep an eye on the Sioux and Cheyenne in the area, so they established Fort Fetterman here on the south side of the Platte River at where the southern end of the Bozeman Trail began. Also, Fort Fetterman played a major role in supplying the troops for General Crook as he marched into the Sioux Territory during the Great Sioux War of 1876. A year later, Cook also used this fort as his base to go into the um, Indian Territory again in what was to become known as his Horse Meat March. So let's take some time and wander around and see what there is left of Fort Fetterman. Today, Fort Fetterman is a state historic site administered by the Wyoming Parks Department. Only two structures remain from the original Fort Fetterman, a former warehouse and some officers' quarters that have been repurposed for a little museum and visitor's center. This is all that there is of Fort Fetterman today. We're looking down the parade ground. And we will move on and hit some of the sites of some of the major buildings of the fort. Placards along the way identify the site of various structures that were built in the fort. The fort eventually contained quarters for 300 enlisted men and officers. The various magazines and storage houses required for ammunition, rations, and other supplies. A hospital stables for 50 horses, a corral capable of holding 56 mule wagons with their animals, a theater, an ice house, a root house, a granary, a bakehouse, blacksmith shops, a sawmill, saddler's shops, paint shops, laundresses quarters, and eventually a steam engine for pumping water from the North Platte River. Interesting thing about the buildings here at Fort Fetterman, uh, up the uh, Platte River was Fort Casper. And when the Army uh, 
abandoned Fort Casper, they took apart all the structures, uh, shipped them down the Platte River, and reassembled them here at uh, Fort Fetterman. This mound of ridges here is the remains of a tripleplex of officer quarters. According to the literature, this would have housed mainly bachelor officers. Over to my left here was a set of other officer quarters. And then as we continue down the path, we will hit where the enlisted uh, barracks were for the infantry and the cavalry. Okay, along here are the remains or the site of the infantry barracks. And then as we move down the trail, we will see where the cavalry had their barracks. Fort Fetterman, like most of the forts along the frontier, was garrisoned with more infantrymen than cavalry. The trees in the background mark the course of the North Platte River, and the highway follows roughly the route of the Bozeman Trail. Because of its remote location, Fort Fetterman was not considered a desirable station. Desertion by soldiers were frequent, and the winters long and hard. Supplies had to be brought in by wagon from Fort Laramie or from the railroad center near Fort D.S. Russell at Cheyenne. Early in the days, soldiers had to carry water up the steep bluffs from the river to the more nearby creeks to the fort itself. Eventually this was solved with a pump station. The soil proved unsuitable for sustaining gardens, so fresh vegetables were unavailable to the troops. Fort Fetterman is named for Captain William Fetterman, who, in December 1866, led a detachment of 80 men out of Fort Phil Kearney, about 200 miles north of here, against a group of Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Lakota warriors. Captain Fetterman and his entire command were wiped out in what is known as the Fetterman Fight or the Fetterman Massacre. After the army deactivated the fort in 1882, the structures were purchased by civilians, and a small community called Fetterman City was established in the empty fort. The community thrived until 1886, when the railroad established the town of Douglas. Thereafter, Fetterman City rapidly declined to eventually become abandoned. 
to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Also want to uh, give a thank you to Story Out West who collaborated with me on this and did the filming while I mumbled through. Thanks a lot and I will see you in my other videos. If you like this video, I would ask for you to hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and give a comment. It is all greatly appreciated. Thank you.